How does healing really happen? What does faith or belief in the process have to do with it? Do we have more power to move energy and heal trauma than we have ever imagined? And if so, how does it work? And how can I make myself available to it? Can I move out of the field of trauma and into the field of healing through my choice? And even if I choose, what might I be capable of? It's an exploration, but I'm ready for it. Healing with medicine painting. I'm Shiloh Sophia for Musea, Intentional Creativity, Curating Consciousness. I'm truly passionate about painting as a form of medicine. From the time I was a child, I was fixated on healing literally wanted to lay my hands on people and ask them to be healed to let the lame walk and the blind see and a lot of my life i've actually practiced that kind of faith healing when intentional creativity really came into my life i discovered that it was actually a more scientific and almost literal way of making real the alchemy of what happens in a healing experience in a healing experience, there's a field of healing that's alternate to the wound or the trauma that gets created. Intentional creativity does that. In a field of healing, there's the request for that healing, making oneself available for that. Intention within a creative process does that. It literally impacts the physical body, the emotional body, and the field and so every part of you is engaged and then add right left brain and imagination and then you're in this pretty awesome space where you have in essence moved yourself into a space of healing where more of you is available to do that work than is through just thinking or talking and so there's this idea that bringing your whole self into the creative process makes you available to whatever is available to be healed. Over the years, my prayer has become, let whatever is available to be moved and healed today in this moment, let it be so. And what is not is not, but what is, let it move and let myself be engaged with that movement. I don't need to know all the pieces of it. I don't need to know the mechanics of it, but I just want to make myself here for this transformation and then as I'm creating and making in form through dance or through painting or through writing I'm like listening and watching and I'm witnessing I become the observer of my healing experience and so intentional creativity for me is you know part of my faith healing I have faith that healing is possible but it's this invitation to engage in a field of of where healing is possible and to do that really consciously and to co-create with yourself yeah that you are making up a story about a potential of healing and that you are doing the work to show up for that and that instead of someone outside of you doing that work for you or even with you 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 are the one who is moving the energy so you're making up the story you're making up the mythos you're making up this healing context this framework into which something new and perhaps rather curious can arise and how this works directly with medicine painting is so literal it's it's concrete in a way so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about and I've chosen a color, a pale yellow, that feels like the healing I would like to receive and something that I would like to move. And so I'm starting with this inquiry of like what wants to be moved. And then I just notice what comes up. And so for me, what came up was 
Metabolism. Okay, I may not even have any idea why that came up. So, metabolism. And so now I am metacognitively, metacognition, thinking about thinking, metacognitive painting, thinking about thinking while painting. So I'm simply, for myself, moving the brush in dots and lines as I ask myself the question about my metabolism. What is that about? Where is that headed? What wants to be revealed to me about this? And as something moves or changes, I may even make a mark to suggest I've got some new or different information now. And then I start making some other marks. If something were to arise like a memory, I'm not actually doing the journey right now, but just if a memory arose of like, well, where that trauma came from or something like that, I may even make some scars or some squiggles or something that's messy. I may make some shapes that are coherent with the energy I'm feeling and by doing it, in an essence, I'm discharging that. In other ways of medicine painting, I also might be making sound, engaging with the mediums. Very literal, very concrete in that I'm making something move. I'm moving it visually and somatically. I see the change or motion happening. The information goes through my eyes to my mind, back through my body and out my hand. And so a circuit gets created. And in that circuit, energy can't not move. So we're dealing with the physical body, we're dealing with the field, we're dealing with consciousness, all animated by this imagination. And imagination goes to all the same places that trauma is stored. When trauma happens and the great shattering occurs throughout your field and system, it is challenging to sometimes get to all those little places. That's why we're so surprised when we get triggered. We're like, wait, I thought I dealt with that. Or wait, why is that bringing this up? It can be very confusing. When I am working with healing of specific trauma, I may also say something like, you know, <clears throat> that thing that happened, X, Y, Z, I name it. I'm asking for everything within my system, my entire body, my entire field, which is connected with that specific trauma, to gather together for my good, to be alchemized right now as I'm making this brush stroke. And as I make this shape, so it is being transformed. Here's the thing, it can't not be transformed. The question is to what degree, it depends on how ready you are or how ready it is able to be moved or how deep the trauma, we can't know, right? Because it's not a truth. But if I ask for everything within my system to, that is connected to a specific trauma or story to be activated and alchemized and moved as long as it's safe for me to do so and not gonna put me in a worse state, then what I'm doing is I'm mobilizing the stuck energy. I'm not just thinking theoretically about the trauma. I'm asking everything within myself which is connected to that trauma to be moved as I use my brush talismanically to consecrate the movement of energy so that I can open up to a new terrain. Does it sound cosmic? It is cosmic. It is stellar. It is gorgeously cosmic and also extremely earthy and extremely somatically grounded because everything that we're dealing with has become for us as literal as we make the move and have the experience in our body and as we communicate with our brain that this is happening now. This is happening now. I say that my, my biggest prayer in my healing experiences and my prayers for others is this is happening now. Let anything that is happening now be able to be moved that can be moved now. And it has to do with just bringing myself into the present and then dedicating an entire painting space to these movements. And then as soon as something has moved, then I go on to what's next because this also reveals, oh, there's something underneath that. Oh, there's something underneath that. And it's places that we get to that we haven't been able to get to by other means. But in this case, 
It's you getting to that new place. It's you moving that which is hidden and invisible to something visible that can be alchemized by your own hand and loved up by your own heart.